All right, so got the latest, greatest thing from Ryobi, and we've been wanting this for a while. And what this is is a uh, it's going to be an uh, inverter for our batteries, but they actually call it a con console inverter suitcase, which is kind of a weird term. I don't understand that because that's not what it says on the website. But anyway, we'll cut it open and see what we got. But because we've got all these 40 volt batteries, uh, we've lost power like a couple times this year. Once we lost it for I think 11 or 12 hours, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then the other two times have been several hours. So we need something to try to maybe run our uh, definitely our refrigerator because we've got a lot of food in there and then we've got meat and stuff that we've been investing in. So we decided. Since we already have the batteries and we're already kind of invested in Ryobi that would get this inverter. So, read a lot of reviews, right, about mm -hmm. it. And some of them are good, some of them are not that good. So, that's what we're going to find out. So, the main goal for this inverter for us, for the household, is one, run it for our house. And we definitely want to be able to run the refrigerator. That's important. We want to be able to charge... Uh, computers and cell phones mm -hmm. and obviously stuff like that while we don't have power and then possibly we have a small air conditioning unit just like that one there that we'd like to actually run with this also just to kind of keep us cool so that's our goals anyway with it some of the reviews and I, Sharon and I talked about this you got guys trying to run like giant table saws with, with blades this big and stuff that's when the power's out, I'm not worried about running a table saw or uh, making a making a grandfather clock or I don't know. I don't understand some of the reviews. So it gives you some numbers here that are a little bit confusing. It's an 1800 watt max running, and then they give you this 3000 starting wattage. We'll probably go into that a little later in the, in another video, but you probably want to concentrate on this 1800. That's about the maximum you're going to get at a steady state. Uh, it also comes with two batteries. So we're, what I want to do is get this open and get it, the two batteries charged before we try it. And then we have other batteries for our lawnmower and all the other stuff we bought. So it can take four batteries and that's probably important that you have four batteries in it to get all these rates. Okay so yeah and then they give you kind of an idea. What, so you get three uh, 100, what, 120 volt outlet, so the typical American style outlet. They're rated for 15 amps. I'd say that's going to be 15 amps overall, not 15 amps each, obviously, because of the 18 watts again. Also, well, a big dog is getting involved. Really? We don't need help. Appreciate it. Also, with your, you've got some USB. Uh, I don't even really know what USB C is, but I think that's for like your Apple phone. Yeah, that's so, the Apple stuff. Yeah, 3-amp. And then the A's are just your typical USB. So that's what you got there. Kind of cool stuff on here. I don't see it on the front page. But you get you get an app that you put on your phone. And then you can control this with the app. So you can turn it on and off. Mm -hmm. And then you can also look at the load and some other things. The battery levels. Things like that. Uh, another thing is you keep this in. You know, obviously a, a, a gas power generator you can't keep indoors. This can be kept indoors while you're running it. It's very quiet. I mean, it's just going to have like a little fan for the cooling. So there's there's some things that are are good, positive about it, and then there's some other things that are you know like where you might want to get a gas generator. But uh, for us and what we're doing, I think we're, this is going to do good for us. Uh, you know, and they give you some things that it runs: fans and uh, TVs, uh, all your basic stuff, household stuff. And being quiet and all that stuff would be great for a campsite if you need if you if being quiet is important. So we're gonna find out. So and then like I said, we we invested in Ryobi with the lawnmower. Uh, we've got a bunch of batteries already. I think we've got four. Mm -hmm. And then this comes with two batteries. It was on sale, so you get mm -hmm. two six amp batteries plus this for a good price. Uh, it's under eight hundred dollars. So you know, I think I think that's where we're at with that. We weren't really too interested in gas generators much uh we talked about it a little bit we may in the future uh long-term power outages you know it, gasoline is probably not going to last around here more than about three days yeah. we do lose power that long that's going to be a problem so 
obviously you can't and but one of these things is you can't charge this, charge the batteries while you're using this and that was a big hit from everybody else too but we don't have any capability if the power's out we're not going to be able to charge the batteries anyway so that's not really a concern for us but if you're on a campsite and you got solar or something mm -hmm. i don't know or another generator you can tether these to another generator uh it's got a lot of good functions you know bluetooth and all that stuff so we're gonna pull it out we're gonna charge the batteries up and then we're gonna run some tests you know run the refrigerator and do some stuff with it and have some fun with it so okay let's yeah. pull it out all right that's my talk so let's see if i can get it out of here without hurting myself you know what i might do is i might just flip it over yeah that's what i do yeah that way we can, if we have to send back we can use this uh and it's pretty light that's one thing right off the bat it's really light because the batteries are in here someplace so. yeah uh we've got our nice new outdoor furniture now it's made in it's pretty much made in vietnam the batteries are obviously made in china and then they they probably package them so that may be an issue but we'll see and it's a ryobi so got a pretty good warranty with it and everything Top. Looks good. Set that to the side. Okay. Here's our two batteries, right? Yeah. And they're six amp batteries, so it's pretty good, you know, pretty good size. Mm -hmm. So we'll get those charged up. And, uh, here's the charging adapter. Okay. So you can charge the batteries on there. And, uh, yeah. There it is. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice and lightweight. Comes with like a little oh. cover case, carrying yeah. case. I guess maybe if you had it outdoors and you didn't want the weather to get on it. Not bad. Yeah, it's kind of like a little bit weird looking to me, but I mean, I think it's cool. It's just you have to have room for your batteries. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's no weight to it. Let's see. So. Yeah, I mean, it's. It, I mean, I couldn't carry it along like that, but um, we'll it it's not for, really that heavy. I guess it gets you a little strap. I'm sure once the batteries get on it. It'd be yeah, heavier. yeah. I think it's under 30 pounds. So with it's the batteries. Two, two batteries on each yeah. side. And you can use the different size amp rating. It's 40 volt batteries, but you can use the different, you can mix and match the batteries. Oh, okay. So if you have mm -hmm. some batteries for, say, something that was a smaller unit, you can stack them in there and then you can hot swap the batteries around as it's running as long as you keep one battery in it so it's got to me it's got some really good versatility to it you just got to kind of understand its limitations is that on the back? Is that like a fan i think so yeah That's i think if cooling yeah once it's going to probably generate heat okay. and then if you're charging the batteries there's going to be heat associated mm -hmm. uh the reviews say it does charge the batteries fairly slow, and I say it probably does. It's not really a, uh, a high-speed charger, but we have high-speed chargers in the shop because we've got it for the other. In fact, I think we have two. So mm -hmm. for us, char high-speed right. charging is not really an issue. That's not what we bought this for. Right. But they don't come with a charger otherwise, so I could see where people would be frustrated where it took eight hours to charge two batteries, where it takes 40 minutes in the, in the garage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh all right yeah so we'll get some we'll get some batteries charged up and we'll yeah, get do and some we'll, reading on it you know yeah. it's, it's a technical piece you have to yeah kind of understand what you're doing here so it gives you some numbers on the side i'll, I'll kind of i might make a little chart and go through that uh yeah some operating temperatures and stuff like that so uh yeah, we'll go through all that, though. This is just kind of the unboxing, so I'll get to study on it a little bit more. But I'm really excited about it anyway, so we've had an eye out for a while. Mm -hmm. And then it, it was on sale from uh, Memorial Day, so, yeah. Well, we will keep y'all posted. Yep. All right. Thanks.